put all the talent at the beginning of the show. I mean, before that out. As the lights come back on, David Driscoll, thank you. Um, I would like to say once again, don't leave yet. I have one more person I'd like to call up before you leave. Um, I'd like to thank you again on behalf of the St. Louis Youth Group for coming tonight and remind you that on your way out the door, we are still collecting donations for the Graves family. We're also selling bracelets at the door, fully rely on God bracelets for one dollar, and there are some small and medium t-shirts for ten dollars, all going to the Will Graves Fund. But before you leave, I'd like to call Will's cousin Lauren Hutton up to say a few words. Lauren? Before Will's accident, we decided randomly to, that we wanted to go bowling. So we were driving to go bowling, and we had um, we had a conversation about how he was a better driver than me, and how I'd only been driving for so many months, and how he, like his dad, teaches driver's ed, and he's been driving a lot longer than me, and he's like all around just a better driver, and he was making fun of me, and. We even kind of made a little joke about how I was just like waiting to get in like a fender bender or something. Well, so 10 days later, I'm skiing and I get a text from my mom that says he's been in a car accident. So like that's the first thing that really came to my mind. I was like, wow, this is like so, like I didn't know how to react. I, I didn't cry. I just, it, I was just in shock because he is a really good driver. He's been driving since like literally he was like seven because he like lived in the country or whatever. But... <laughs> But, um, so I was really just in shock, and then I went to see him, and that's when I broke down the first time that I went to see him when he was still unconscious in the ICU. So, Will has never really, like, pondered on the thought, like, why me, that, like, a lot of people do that are in his situation. But I have thought, like, why not me? And I finally come to that, like, conclusion, or that I got that answer. Will, we both are really strong in our faith lives, but Will has preached, even before his wreck, out to all of his friends and family, and these bracelets, he gave them out to his whole football team, just because they were feeling down and they were coming up to, on their big, like, state championship game, or I don't know, like, regional championship or something, and they, he gave all these bracelets to them to let them know that they can always look to God, and he will help them in any way. So through his accident even, he's brought so many people closer to God, and people have been praying to God for him so much, and he has really been recovering so well, and we know that it's just because of all the prayers and everything to God and his faith in God. And so I really ask that you donate to, to uh, Will, because there's only so much that money will do, and the rest of it is God. And, he really strongly believes that, and he knows that he's going to walk out of there, and we just need your prayers. Thank you. Well, thank everyone for coming tonight. Thank you for loving our young people. Thank you for being here. Thank you for leaving money on your way out. <laughs> and now the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Good night.